My British accent is so bad. I would never make it in the royal family. They would kick me out of that royal palace faster than you could say crumpet. The royal family. You know them, you love them, or you might not, because I don't really think anyone cares for them that much anymore. We've sadly all seen British... Every time I see a British person, I get sad. Oh, you're British? Tuesday, in it. We've all sadly seen family channels on YouTube before, which just never end well. Not a good idea. But have you ever seen a British family channel? Exactly. I didn't think so. Okay, so the royal family, just in case you don't know. The best way to describe them is basically they are a family who is royal. I know, it's a pretty complex definition. Located in the UK, a family full of scandals, mainly centered around Queen Lizzie, and apparently they do important work such as charity and helping to strengthen national unity and stability, whatever that means. I didn't even know what the point of the royal family was, except for the fact that they are like the royal family, obviously, but I looked it up and I guess they're known for charity work. I don't know. I don't know much about the royal family. And for some reason, they have now decided to start a YouTube channel. So now every week we could go on the trending tab and we could see videos like cheating on William with his brother prank, playing cricket, gone sexual, Oprah said what about us? Emotional. Or like they just start making apology videos for every past scandal. Could you imagine that's what they started posting? No, that would shake things up. That would really be a scandal. The name of their channel is The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, which just in itself sounds so expensive. Four weeks ago, they uploaded a video titled Welcome to Our Official YouTube Channel. I guess it's kind of like a trailer of what's to come when they start posting. I'm only assuming because I'm not really sure. They never clarified this whole trailer is very vague. We're gonna watch that in a second. Before we watch that, I just think it's really funny because if you just type in the royal family on YouTube, there's already a family channel called the royal family. Imagine someone who knows nothing about this is trying to learn more. So they look up on YouTube, the royal family, but this is the only thing they see. Hmm, that doesn't look like Queen Elizabeth. We're gonna watch the video they uploaded. The little trailer. By the way, you'll be careful what you say now because these guys, they're filming I know! <laughs> hey. Do you need to roll your arm? Do I not, do you not roll this? No. There you go, William and Kate. Wait, yes. William and Kate. I had to double check because I feel like if I mix them up, that's disrespectful and the family's gonna come for me and I'm kind of scared of them, not gonna lie, so no disrespect. Kate is kind of serving looks. I don't know if we like her or not. Don't know if she's a good person, but she's kind of serving. She looks good. Giving Duchess chic. So it's not 100% clear what the point of this is. They never specify it. Even in the description, it just says welcome and subscribe. And then it just gives you some links to some other stuff. That's it. I'm assuming they're going to show us them doing charitable work. Although the options from before sound way better to me. Show me a mukbang of every fish and chip restaurant in London. Then I'll watch. You know what this means. They've uploaded their first video. That means they're officially YouTubers now. So get ready for the diss tracks. The fall of Prince Harry featuring Lil Lizzie. And then Harry will make a diss track in response, obviously. It's Everyday Crumpets featuring Oprah and Meghan, official music video. I was trying to figure out why they started this channel, but when I started typing in why is the royal family starting a YouTube channel, one of the top searches was why is the royal family so ugly? Which, I mean, that's pretty harsh. And as you can see, I there, there was no answer. I couldn't find an answer anywhere as to why this is a thing. Like, what is the purpose behind this? If we go to their channel, you can see that they've already started uploading videos. And I think they're all part of this Hold Still series. If you go to the description of the first video after their little trailer thing, it basically says that they call people and talk about their experiences with Corona. I watched some of the first one and it was sad, but it was good in terms of like raising awareness for everything. I definitely think they should stick to things like this. No matter what they do, do not try to pull the relatable card. That is such a common theme with rich influencers. Not that the royal family is rich influencers, but you'll see people dressed fully in designer from head to toe, which there's no problem with, go off. But at the same moment, we'll somehow pretend to be poor just to be hashtag relatable. There's been a lot of examples on that on YouTube, so I'm just gonna assume that you know what I mean. Which that whole thing is weird in itself because you don't need to pretend to be poor to be relatable, but whatever. I don't know if the royal family's trying to appeal to the younger generation or what, because I feel like majority of the younger generation doesn't follow what they do. Like they don't really care. I'm speaking from personal experience. I know I don't have like my post notifications for the royal family on. I don't really know what they're trying to do, but imagine Prince William trying to stream on Twitch. Minecraft gameplay with Prince William. If I ever saw that, crumpet. 
That's how it would feel. The family channel that no one asked for. Will the royal family take over YouTube? Probably not, but it would be pretty cool if they did. Only if they uploaded those videos from before. If they're not uploading that, then I'm not watching. I think the Brits heard me talking about them because now I have a headache. They sent me the bad energy. Thanks for watching. New video on Sunday. Hope you have a good day. Go eat a crumpet. Is that a food? I don't even know what a crumpet is. Go eat some fish and chips. Bye.